Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the distributive property and some examples of how to apply that property. When we're multiplying a number or a variable representing a number, and we multiply that times a binomial or a trinomial, a binomial is something that has two terms, a trinomial is something that has three terms. So here we're multiplying eight times this binomial, three times this binomial, and so forth. How do we do that? Well, the distributive property tells us that we must multiply this number 8 times each of the terms inside that parentheses, each of the terms of the binomial, which means we multiply 8 times x and 8 times 2. Sometimes it helps to draw little arrows like this, so we indicate that we're going to multiply 8 times x and 8 times 2. 8 times x is 8x, and 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Here we do the same thing, we're distributing the 3 across the x and the y. We're going to multiply the x times 3 and the y times 3. This then becomes 3x plus 3y. If there's a negative, sign, a negative sign in front, we have to distribute that negative sign as well. It is minus 4 multiplied times a and minus 4 multiplied times a negative 5b. Negative 4 times a gives us a negative 4a. And a negative times a negative, remember when you multiply two negatives together, you get a positive. So negative 4 times negative 5b becomes a positive 20b. Here we're going to multiply the 2 times 6 and the 2 times a negative 4a. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times a negative 4a is a negative 8a. Here we're going to distribute the 3 over the 3a and the b. 3 times 3a gives me 9a, and 3 times b gives me 3b, and they're both positive. Here we're going to distribute the variable a with the variable b and c. Sometimes they're also called constants. A variable means it can take on any value. A constant means it's a specific value. So let's say that there are specific values a, b, and c. I multiply a times b and a times c, so I get a, b plus a, c. Here I'm multiplying the a times 3a and the a times 4b. Again, we distribute the a across both terms in the binomial. a times 3a is 3a squared, because a times a is a squared, plus a times 4b gives me 4ab. It's traditional to write the letters representing either constants or variables in alphabetical order, so you tend to write the a before the b. Here we're going to distribute the 4 across all three terms in the trinomial. This becomes 4 times 3a, which is 12a, 4 times 4b, which is 16b, and 4 times the negative 2c is a negative 8c. And that's how we utilize the distributive property in case we have to multiply numbers or constants or variables times a binomial or a trinomial. That's how it's done.